Hey, it's your boy, Ron Big Black Garrett. Um, I said I wasn't going to do too many political um, videos, too many things like that. Um, and I'm, this is really not that. It's going to seem sort of that way. But I have a specific purpose because of what God placed into my heart today. Um, we as Christians seem to have lost our ability um, to help foster nonviolent public debate. Um, I'm very disturbed at how many Christians on social media, uh, in the media, all around the world can walk in agreement with violence against someone simply because they have a MAGA hat on or simply because they have uh, they're a Republican simply because they're a Democrat. Um, and, and I've seen it both ways because it happened during President Obama's term, too. Um, and and I'll be honest with you, there were some times when I was very guilty of it, um, not of being violent or anything like that. But uh, there was times when maybe I didn't use uh, proper discretion with my words in public debate. Uh, maybe there were times when I said things that were less becoming of a man of God. And uh, the, the, the thing that I'm proud of is that I've been able to postulate to that. And I, I seem to have grown. I'm not saying that if someone, uh, that if I'm in a debate or something like that, that I can honestly say that that's all gone completely. I pray that it is. But that's the whole point of what I'm talking about here. We are supposed to be the four leaders. We should be the ones out front when it comes to civil debate. Um, we sh are the ones that should be able to agree to disagree and still go out and have a cup of coffee with someone, even if they like Trump, even if they like Obama, Bush, Clinton, whoever the president is. We are supposed to be those people, but many of you are not, especially on my timeline. And this is... God holding you accountable. It ain't me because I've had to hold myself accountable as he's held me accountable. You have to look yourself in the face in the mirror and ask, is this you? Now you can get upset with me. You could uh, say all oh, this blanker is crazy, whatever. Hey, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm, I wasn't put here to make everyone happy. I definitely don't always make my wife happy and she loves me. She, it's a, she has to make a conscious choice to love me every day. Trust me on that because I am something else at times. But one of the things that I, I feel like I've been blessed with is the ability to step in front of this camera, step in front of this microphone and say what needs to be said regardless of what feedback I'm going to get, positive or negative. Um, but... This is something that's really been on my heart for a while. It's one of the reasons that you don't see me uh, as much lately discuss politics. It's because I've come to realize that people have gotten so far off track. And, and mind you, I'm speaking to Christians here. I'm not speaking to um, the general public. We're supposed to expect them to act that way. Um, they're not supposed to have the same moral center as we do as Christians, they're not they're not governed by the same rules that we are as Christians. And we're not doing them any good by acting the way we act. When we walk in agreement with violence against someone simply because you dislike the president they support for whatever reason, when you start calling someone racist just because they support Trump and you don't know in their heart if they are, when you start calling someone racist because uh, they're black and they support President Obama, or, or, or you call someone a misogynist just because they don't like the policies that uh, Hillary Clinton would have enacted if she had become um, a president, um, or, or, or in all of these little ideas, um, even if that person is, let me tell you something, you're still supposed to act like a Christian. Even if you know for a fact that someone is racist, you're still supposed to act like a Christian. Hey, I know that's hard. I've been there. But let me tell you something. I know people now who were racist because I chose not to behave in a certain way, even though I wanted to that now can honestly say that they have a black friend they would have never had had I not acted the way God wanted me to act. Did I do the right thing every time I was encountered with that? 
No, I'd be lying to you if I said I didn't. But I'll tell you this, because this message was pre preached to me by my pastor uh, over the years. This message was preached to me by God and the Holy Spirit over the years. It's one of the first messages I got from the Holy Spirit when I gave my life to Christ. Um, I had a choice to make. I could either continue to do as others do, go to church every day, uh, sit up in these pews, and that, that's what we call them in the old school, we call them pews, uh, just sit in that chair and listen to the word of God, clap and shout my hands, praise and worship, come out of there feeling great, and then go back to being the same old uh, person through the week, never changing. And that's what you're faced with today. I need you, you, to look at yourself and see if anything of what I said is you. Now, mind you, I said, some of you are going to get very upset with me. I, I'm even called not black sometimes, despite my beautiful black skin. And having grown up and still doing a lot of work in the community that I grew up in, um, I'm even called not black. I've been called Uncle Tom. I've been called all these other things. Um, mind you, by Christians, people that go to church. Regardless of how I am, they shouldn't even be talking this way. Yet they do. But you see a smile on my face. It's because Jesus said I'd be persecuted if I did what he tells me to do. That's what the Bible says. And the Bible tells us that we're supposed to love our enemies. How can you honestly say that you are a Christian when you can't put your lips together to pray for President Trump? I said the same thing when President Obama was in office uh, against some people who I knew had a little racist quality against them. Um, and even the ones that didn't have a racist quality to them, they, they couldn't bring their lips to pray for President Obama, uh, not because he was black or anything like that, because it was a couple of black people. But they couldn't do it because they didn't walk in agreement with some of his policies. And I said, wait a minute now. Hey, I don't agree with everything the brother says either, but let me tell you something. You're supposed to pray for him. The Bible is very clear about that. And that's the problem. That's why the world is the way the world is today. It's because Christians are full Christians. They're not real Christians. They're not behaving in consistency with what the word says. Um, hey, before I get off, I'll even take it back even further. One of the reasons that I was slow to becoming a Christian is because I grew up going to church but as I, as a little young, supposedly dumb boy, as I was called often when I was young, I would read these words in the Bible and see how the Bible told us we were supposed to act. And I would notice that the people around me, even the leaders, weren't acting that way. And I remember when I went into the army, I said, there's no reason for me to become a Christian because they're just like me. So I, I didn't give my life to God for another 20-something years. And I'll tell you, yes, it was my choice, but it was also the behavior of Christians that caused, that helped that. I'm not going to put it all on them because I still had a choice. So my word today and what I received from the Lord, and I, I promise you I'm not going to do this that often, but I will from time to time when I feel led to my word is today from the Lord is that there needs to be a change in the church. It needs to start with you. It needs to start with me. I've, I've already decided that I will follow Jesus. I've already decided that, that uh, I will do what he says to do on this issue. I will respect President Trump. I will respect President Obama, President Clinton, President Bush, whoever's in office, my representatives, if I disagree with them, I will civilly disagree with them. That's what the Constitution says we're supposed to do. We're not supposed to be uh, beating people up because they support a president. That's on Constitution. That's on American. I'm a proud veteran of this country, and I served and put my life on the line for everyone to have a certain opinion. And that's not going to change. I do the same thing. I pray for Christ. Hey, I love you. If this offended you, I'm talking to you. If it didn't offend you, maybe you need to start praying and asking God to show you. But I love you. God bless you. Peace.